Python comes with a lot of built-in methods for string manipulation. We can split strings, we can trim strings, we can change them, we can join lists to create strings. The possibilities are endless and in this video we are going to explore all those methods one by one. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into this video. To start our journey, let's say we have a string. So s equals to this is a string. So this is our starting string. And now we will begin to manipulate this string. And the first method that we are going to use is the capitalize method. And what this capitalize method will do is it will take the first character of our string and convert it to uppercase. So we can say s dot capitalize parentheses hit enter. You can see the first character has been converted to upper case let's say we want to convert this lowercase string to uppercase string and the way we can do that is we can say s dot upper hit enter you can see it's magic it has converted this lowercase string to an uppercase string just like that now let's say we have a string we say have a string and inside the string we have few uppercase and few lowercase characters something like this and what we want to do is we want to convert this string entirely to lowercase and the way we can do that is we can say s dot lower hit enter you can see all the characters are now in lower case so these are the first three methods that we can use in order to manipulate strings in python the first one is capitalized second one is upper third one is lower this one only uppercase is the first character of our string this one uppercase is the entire string and the third method the lower method it will convert the entire string to lowercase string now let me clear out the screen now let's say if we have a string s equals to the cold beer the cold beer teaches us how to code okay and now i want to find out for how many times does this code word appears in this string and there's a method that can do that for me and i can say s dot count so what this count method does is it takes an argument that's going to be the pattern and it's going to see for how many times does that pattern occur in our string so let's say code so in other words what it will do is it will take this code word and it will search for how many times does this word occur in our string so if i hit enter you can see it says two and indeed this word occurs two times in our string so this is how you can uh, count any patterns occurring in a string next let's clear this out now let's talk about the ends with method right now as you can see i have a string s equals to this is a string what this ends with method will do is it will return true if the string ends with the specified value so if i say s dot ends with ing and hit enter you can see we get true because indeed our string is ending with this ing if i say s dot ends with uh, let's say something else hit enter you can see we get false because our string is not ending with this value so this is what this ends with method does next we are going to talk about this split method and what this split method will do is it will convert this string into a list and the way it converts that string into list is it takes in a separator in this string each word is separated by a white space so we can use this white space as a separator and split our string based on this white space so the way we do this is we say s dot split and inside here we give it an argument that's the separator and in this case we are going to use white space as our separator so give it a white space hit enter you can see we get a list of all these splitted words from our original string next is the replace method so if i have this string s equals to code bear is awesome <laughs> so if i have the string code bear is awesome and i want to replace some part of the string with something else we can say s dot replace let's say i want to replace awesome word in my string with best hit enter you can see i have successfully replaced the awesome word with the best in my string so this is how you can replace any string 
with the replace method in Python. Next, let's say we have a string s equals to this is a string. Okay. And we have a white space at the end of our string and a white space at, in the beginning of our string. And we want to strip these white spaces uh, which are at the beginning of our string and at the starting of our string. The way we can do that is we can say s dot strip that's it hit enter you can see both of these white spaces have been stripped out from our original string so this is how easy it is next i'm going to show you something very awesome let's say we have a string s equals to this is a string okay we have a string like this and what i want to do is i want to convert all the uppercases to lowercase characters and all the lowercase characters to uppercase characters with python we can do it very easily all we have to do is we have to say s dot swap case hit enter you can see the uppercase characters have been converted to lowercase and the lowercase characters have been converted to uppercase characters so this is how easily we can do this in python now so now we are going to talk about the index method let's say we have a string hello there this is our string and we want to find out if there exists inside our string and if it does exist at which index does it start so we can say s dot index give it a pattern in our case we are searching for there hit enter you can see it says six so if we go like zero one two three four five six you can see that their word starts at an index six. So this is how easily we can find the index of any pattern existing in our string. We have already talked about the ends with method. Now we are going to talk about the starts with method. As the name suggests, it will check if our string starts with a specified value. So we can say s dot starts with and pass in a value. Let's say this. So what we are doing here is we are checking if our string starts with this. And if I hit enter, we should get true. Enter, you can see we get true. So next is the left strip. So uh, we already talked about the strip function. What that function did was that function stripped out any white space in the beginning and the end of our string. What this L strip method will do is it will check if we have a white space in the left side of our string and it will strip that out. So we can say as dot L strip. As you can see here, we have a white space in the beginning of our string. If I hit enter, we get an L strip version of the string with no white space in the beginning of our string. Let's say we have S equals to this is a string and this time we have a white space in the right side of our string as you already guessed what we can do is we can say s dot r strip hit enter you can see the white space at the end of our string is gone so this is how easily we can use l strip and r strip in python so now let's say we have a multi-line string and inside this string we have three lines so what if we want to split this string and get each line separately so we want a list containing each of these lines as a separate element so the way we can do that is we can say s dot split lines hit enter you can see we got a list with each element as a line from our multi-line string so this is how easily we can split lines from our multi-line strings so these were some of the methods that are very useful while manipulating strings in python there are a few more that you can check out on the python documentation or there's a link that i will give in the description below that you can go ahead and check it out and you can learn about them as well so in this video i just showed you those methods that are very useful for us while manipulating strings in python so if you have any questions you can comment down below subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon for future upcoming videos so i'll see you in the next one peace out